What is up, people? Eric here. Minecraft with Eric. Rogue sheep. What be messing my shite up there, sheep? What the hell? <laughs> As you can see, I have once again started beekeeping. Uh, you remember, uh, I bought a whole ton of proven frames off of the villager way over there. Uh, yeah. So I got it going on now. I got some bee breeding going on. These are forest princesses with meadows drones, and these are meadows princesses with forest drones. And as you can see, I have surrounded the entire area with tons and tons of flowers. I should probably concentrate them more, like put them everywhere in there, but I like variety. And, uh, you know, it's the, each one covers a 9x9 nine nine area, so, you know, it's four blocks out. So it's not too bad. Uh, the flowers should be in close enough proximity to where there should be enough for them to get in there and keep up. I'm already getting comb production, at least in one of them. And then I've got my apiarist chest set up over here. I got one more forest princess and one more forest drone. I'm going to have to go look for some more. I got plenty of meadows bees, though. And, uh, of course, I have a valiant drone that I picked up apparently at random, which is cool. We are looking to get on down the bee breeding line. I'm going to have to, you know what, I'm going to have to set up myself out here a centrifuge and um, a carpenter and whatever else there is. Um, what is that, a thermionic fabricator, I think it is. And, uh, yeah, I'll have to uh, get myself some bee tools happening here. But over the next, uh, I don't know, day or two, I'm going to be recording this episode, like real world day or two. And uh, we'll see what kind of bees I get out of the whole deal. Hopefully we can get some good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. All right. So, uh, yeah, I, I ran around far and wide to find these bees because apparently there's no bees in the local area other than wintry bees out there. Haven't really been over there to look yet, but I will get over there eventually. I'm trying to avoid going into the snow because this world just seems to love snow. But anyway, yeah, I'll be back once I get some bee breeding happening. All right, see you in a bit. All right, my winging friends, we are back. Still pretty much the same day as when I started. I have been doing a couple of rounds of breeding. I got some chests set up. I got my thermionic fabricator, my centrifuge, and my carpenter all set up. Obviously, I have a bee cadex, and uh, we are going to check out and see what I have here. This is my forest one. Somehow, I got a cultivated princess, like, right off the bat. Like, bam. And then I got some commons. I'm running a little low on forest princesses here, and these are, of course, my meadows bees. I'm going to stuck these in here, and then uh, I still got all my frames, my scoop, and I'm getting tons of beeswax from centrifuge and this stuff so I can run my bee cadex. Uh, let's, oh, this is neat here. Uh, they seem to be like pollinating flowers everywhere, because I started with only one of these orange ones, and I think maybe one of the pink ones, and I have, I know I only had two of white. So I have just been, they've just been get flowers left and right here, man. It's awesome. So yeah, uh, right now I am working on bee breeding. Oh, there's a comb. Oh, nothing. There's a comb. Proven frames are proving to be awesome. Go stick this in my centrifuge. Flip it on. Watch it get rolled up. There we go. One honey drop. Hey, honey drops the important stuff. That's what we want right now. Beeswax, yeah, wax cast, all that happy nonsense, but I won't be using those till later. So, yeah, uh, this is turning out to be quite the venture. So I'm, I'm enjoying the results so far. I mean, come on, instant meadow or instant cultivated princess. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and get more more yeah just plain old more and see what I can I read them down the line here because uh, 
Successful bee breeding is something I was starting to get into in the last world, but uh, yeah, we all know how that worked out. So there we go. I'm going to centrifuge up some more comb, get out our bee cadex, load it up. And then we will put the beeswax in there. And then I will be back mm, a few more rounds of bee breeding. We'll see what happens. I'll see you in a bit. All right. Back to the business of raising bees. Yes, it's going to be bad puns this entire episode. See, I'm not having a problem here. I'm Actually, these are doing great. I uh, just uh, set these off for another day. Oh, there's comb already. Good deal. Uh, proven frames after about eight or nine rounds of beekeeping. Doing pretty good. I've been shoving all the combs I get just right in there getting ready but here's here's something weird check this out I got a wintry queen over here in this apiary here it is in I think it's a tundra biome or something like that and look what it says hostile environment are you kidding me I got all this snow around here and that's a hostile environment so is that over there too it's it blows my gourd I don't understand it. Let me go over here. See what's beyond this hill here. See, this is all like freaking tundra as far as the eye can see, man. And for some reason, this is all hostile environment. See, because if you look under here, it's just these stupid ass snow blocks. Oh, I don't know why they do that. I don't really much care for snow blocks unless I'm building something white. So yeah, I gotta deal with that. Fun, fun, fun. Time to get back to spawn before uh, I get out of range and chunks start unloading because I am trying to keep the bees constant, constantly going. I'm doing all right so far though. I'm going to have to figure something out for that. I think what I might do ultimately once I get a boat ton of bees is uh, I'll probably go and start myself a beekeeping age with Mistcraft. And I will checkerboard the biomes. And I will select only the biomes that I need. So I will need some jungle. I will need some forest. I will need some meadows. I will need some glacier. I will need some desert. <clears throat> That's going to be fun to try and uh, accomplish. But yeah, I will make use of the checkerboard biomes. So <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, back to the beekeeping. I uh, just wanted to update you guys on the process. Look at all these freaking flowers. Wow, these bees are busy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got to show you. Let me get my keyboard up here. Ah, here we go. Check this out. I have been getting cultivated drones, strangely enough, out of just breeding forest and meadows bees. Like It's, it's like it's skipping common and going straight to cultivate. I get another couple of cultivated princesses, and then I'm going to try and uh, breed me up the next in the line there, which is uh, you need a cultivated princess and a common drone. So I'm going to see what happens there, see how uh, see how this works out. But for right now, still going to be more uh, more standard bee breeding. About halfway done. Oop, comb. There we go. Oop, comb. So yeah, I've been burning up the meadows princesses. That's that's the only trick. I have very few meadows princesses. I may go out on another beekeeping adventure. Of course, getting into creating a new age may do something. But who knows? I will uh, see what's going on here. Uh, now that I have portal crystals, I may just go ahead and build a beekeeping portal over here. And uh, go ahead and jump in and out every once in a while. Uh, I suppose it would help to make an eternal day in that particular beekeeping portal, and then I'll just breed the uh, nocturnal bees here. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. But uh, for now, back to more beekeeping. That ought to keep me occupied, and I will be right back. Hey, I'm back. Imagine that. Check it out. Two more apiaries, and since I had enough cultivated princesses, yeah, I decided to go for it. So I got a cultivated forest over here, cultivated uh, meadows hybrid over here, 
and they have both been bred with a common drone. So we are going to see what happens. They are really, really humping out the honeycomb. I'll tell you what. Anyway, yeah, just thought I'd show you that. And also that. Yeah, this year. The first age I created was incredibly unstable, and for some reason this second age decided to give me crystals, even though I didn't pick the crystal symbol. So, yeah. And I picked out a little spot here to do my wintry bees. They are really humping out the combs. <clears throat> Take those with me. Alright, this one over here is crossed with a modest drone, and this one over here is... I don't know if it's a common drone or what, I can't remember. Not in this age much, so it's going to take those bees a while. But yeah, this is starting to be quite interesting. Uh oh, rain. That's going to put a damper on things. Oh well, perfect time for it. Whoa, hello. I backed into the portal. There we go. This is going to put a damper on things, as I was saying. But over here, are they producing more flowers? These these are mostly the ones I placed, although the blue ones over there are new. I assume they'll just spread the love around, so yeah, just a quick update and uh I will be right back as it were. Ha <laughs> back again. Be lovers, be amazed. I be continuing my bee quest and making bad puns in the prog in the, blah, 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 in the process. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I've uh, made a little progress here. Um, we got some uh, lots of honeycomb happening here. Um, I got uh, these are my common bees here. I gotta stash those. Actually, I gotta bring those down and put those on the next page. I need room up at the top for the princesses. Oops, I did it again. Oh, I'm terrible. All right, here we go. Stashing bees, stashing bees. I got my forest bees over here. Stash these drones in here. Now, um, last time you recall, I did try to breed the cultivated with the common, and I ended up with a bunch of forest and meadows bees. So it didn't really happen quite yet. So basically what I'm doing right now is uh, that's a forest and a meadows. That's a meadows and a forest. These are just straight common bees, and they are really pumping out the honeycomb. And that's a forest and a common, and that's also a forest and a common. So I'm I'm basically going for a lot of cultivated princesses if I can get them. And then once I get them, I will try again to uh, get the next in the line of bees, which I don't have my reference in front of me. That's uh, kind of pointless right now to even try and guess what the next line of bees is. But uh, let's go into my uh, bee world here and check things out. Oh, I gotta go this way. Yep, and my wintry bees are right over here in this wee tiny little taiga biome. They are pumping out the frozen combs. They are nowhere near done because I keep skipping back and forth through the portal. Do, 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 do. All right, but yeah, things are looking good. I'll be able to do some um, swampy bees right here. I'll be able to do some modest bees right here. I'll be able to do some tropical bees over here. This this is a this is actually a good idea right here, getting these uh, this world created. So yeah, plenty of, plenty of diverse biomes, and I'll be able to hit up a bunch of them like you know all at once. Stay in one general area and be able to uh, do lots of different bee types. That's pretty cool. I like that idea. So anyway, back into the overworld. Here we go. Poof. There we are. And while everything draws, I'll show you that I got some sheep happening. And that sheep has already grown up. I lured two sheep from over there and now I finally have a full array of animals. So I got cows behind the house there. I got piggies over there. Chickens right there. And now sheep. So um, yeah. I'll be able to get wool because wool serves a very important purpose that I won't let on to now. But I will tell you that wool, apart from making scoops, is going to be very, very important. It'll be worth another trip to the Twilight Forest, let's put it that way. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna break for now and we will come back and see how my beekeeping is progressing. So uh stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. It's raining, so my bees aren't terribly productive right now. But as you can see, things have been going uh, rather nicely. I have a big stash of uh, bees in each chest now. These are my forest bees. Those were my meadows bees. This is the important part here. I have lots of cultivated bees, so uh, I'm able to work down the bee lines. I finally finished off the bees I have in the uh, other age. Ah, these are my, well, no, these are, are these my modest bees? Okay, these are my common bees here. My modest bees are over here, but down here is the important stuff. I have a diligent princess, two diligent drones. Somehow I got a noble princess out of the deal and a majestic drone. I got an unweary drone and uh, that valiant drone I actually got straight out of a, out of a hive, which is really, really weird. So, anyway, yeah, check out, <laughs> check this out. Yeah, I got a ton of honeycomb. I got like all kind of freaking side kinds of combs. Just, just from breeding, I, I couldn't even begin to tell you how many generations I've done. But um, yeah, so look at all these flowers. Horfy duke. <laughs> that is a lot of freaking flowers. Oh my goodness. These bees have just been going crazy creating flowers for me. I appreciate it because uh, then I can expand my bee empire. What I might do is I might just take over this entire bit right here, move everything over here. I don't know. Oh, it's, it's, you know, I got options. So yeah, that's, that's what's going on right now with the bees. Couldn't begin to tell you how many generations I got, but uh, as you can see, I got 10 different species out of the 28 possible, which is pretty good. Uh, or I don't know. I have been doing a lot, and I mean a lot, of bee breeding. So yeah, um, I think right now what I might do is fulfill a promise from my last video. And finally... I believe I promised you all a Naga fight. There he is over there. While I'm here, <laughs> I got lucky. Got an infinity bow. So I am going to go take me on a Naga. Looks like he's happily circling around. Not entirely sure why. Rams will. Seems to be all coiled up. Oh, now he's seen me. Ooh, ouch. Ooh, ooh, ow. Hmm. Whoa! He's destroying shite. Ow. Oof. He's not really hurting me. Ugh. Certainly getting faster. Smashing down the walls there, buddy. Whoa. Plowed right through me there. I'm going to move over into the middle because I don't want him destroying everything. That's no fun. How am I supposed to gather anything? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Uh. Uh. Whoops. Where'd he go? There he is. Whew. Speedy bugger. I'm finally down to half a... Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Boom. Some Naga scales. That's XP, a lightning bug, but I think that's because he destroyed that. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Not bad. I got 13 levels out of the deal. Lots of stone brick. Let's go over here and see what his uh, rampage through the walls left us here. So 
We got some crack stone bricks, some naga stone. Yeah, that's that's the ticket right there. He saved me a bunch of pickaxing. Okay, let me see here. What, what's the deal? All right, I should be able to stair my way down. Oops. Okay. Yep, there we go. Sweet. Ah, picking everything up. Man, he uh he left it all out, didn't he? All right, there we go. More. First batches of stone anything brick that I've gathered since I started. Although I guess you could could count the uh stuff from the previous visit to the one lich tower, but uh all in all yeah. Getting plenty of stuff here. I'm supposed to pick that up. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see here. So it's half slabs on top, is it? <clears throat> then I guess the final batches are over here. Not bad. Naga fights. We've taken out the Naga. And we have raining. Taken out the uh, Hydra. Although I'm sure there are more floating about this, uh, what is supposed to be a rather large, expansive extra world. So, uh, let's see, we got some rubber, some rubber wood, I got another firefly. Yeah, bunches of good stuff. I'd say that's about par for the course right there. Ah, I get everything? Go over here and make sure, maybe? Yeah, looks like I missed some stuff. That's cool. Right on. So yeah, uh, not bad. I guess I'll see you guys next time. Meantime, stay safe, play hard, destroy Nagas, breed bees, and I'll see you next time. Later.